All right, I thought I'd just give us a quick overlook of the Gigabyte GAP55-UD4P motherboard. Starting with right where we're at here. The front panel connectors, the two USB ports for two apiece, total of four. There you have your 1394. Has a little cover on it, which is good. Your floppy parallel COM port, nobody uses. There's your IT, ITE uh, chip, which controls the floppy and the uh, some of the I/O features. Your uh, SP diff, of course, your two uh, PCI PCI X8, PCI X16, PCI X1. That that heat sink is in the way. You could uh, only use a very small card. I don't know what you could use in that, but you've got two X ones there, uh, as well as a fan header there, and two more fan headers there, power fan. And while we're right there, you've got two BIOS chips which is wonderful, a main BIOS and a backup BIOS. Over here you've got your blue SATAs controlled by the P55 chipset and two more SATAs and by the way, these were supposed to be the uh, SATA 3, but due to a last minute thing, they ended up being just uh, SATA 2, so that's alright. We can deal with that. Although I do have a SSD driver too that I'd like it to be the new SATA. Those are controlled by Gigabyte's uh, own chip uh, right there. Gigabyte SATA 2 chip. Of course, you have your uh, DIMM slots, DDR3-1366, natively, and it will go up quite a ways uh, beyond that. Your uh, ferrite, ferrite core chokes, under your heat sinks here, uh, your lower SRMF or uh, lower lower something or other uh, MOSFETs supposed to be supposed to be pretty good. Obviously, I don't know exactly what I'm talking about, but I'm giving you an overview anyway. There's your CPU fan, your 8-pin ATX uh, 12 volt to supply good clean power to the CPU. Uh, your phase phase power LEDs up here. Uh, your various chips. There's your Realtek uh, audio, I believe, and uh, probably the uh, Ethernet controller. Uh, your front panel audio is right here. That's not the best place for the front panel audio because you have to run a cable from the top or across or down. It, I wish it could have been on the uh, the other side. But anyway, have we missed anything too important? You know, your battery does support SLI and Crossfire. Um, you got good copper heat pipes connecting these two and these two. I believe they're like nickel plated.
but they are copper. The back panel, 10 USBs all together. You got your two USBs there, a PS2 keyboard or mouse, SPDIF, digital, optical, four more USBs, Firewire, uh, I believe they're both Firewire 400s, but one is the smaller, newer one. The other one's the larger one. And two eSATA, which I cannot quite figure out yet if you can, there, you may be able to run USBs um, in these also. It might just be the UD5 and UD6, but I'm a little bit confused on that still. So anyway, eSATAs, then you have four more USB ports and dual gigabit LAN, and then your 7.1 channel uh, audio, I forget which number uh, Realtek, a, I want to say, oh, I can't remember, I better not say, but Anyway, uh, that's an overview. There's the new socket uh, 1156, kind of a new uh, new way of of uh, opening and closing it. There looks good to me. And uh, that's that's about it. This video has probably gone too long as it is, so I'll uh, end it there.